Hi, I'm Omnisente. I've been fascinated by powered flight for a while now, and though my interest started with birds and bats, insects are so much cooler than you'd think. Insects were the first animals to achieve powered flight, and they were the only ones in the air for a long time. The way they fly is different from other animals, mostly because of how small they are. For example, a bird couldn't fly with insect wings, even in scale, and a tiny insect with bird wings would probably use too much energy to survive. Most insects have four wings, except dipterans, or flies and mosquitoes, which have two. Some fully grown insects have no wings at all, but I'm not covering those in this video. So let's start with Lepidoptera, which is butterflies and moths. These guys are characterized by their colorful, scaly wings. The forewing is usually somewhat triangular and is always on the outside compared to the hindwing, which is more varied in shape and always on the inside. I'll draw a luna moth first and then a monarch butterfly. The luna moth has somewhat complicated hind wings, but notice that the forewings are triangular. The monarch butterfly is easier with triangular forewings and simple hind wings. This is my art with color, which remember you can always have fun with. Next Odonata, which is dragonflies and damselflies. These guys have incredible control with their flight and are some of the first insects to evolve wings. Their wings are long and thin and they're slightly curved. There's a little line where the bend is called the notice, it's kind of like an elbow. And then there's a dark spot on the end called the pterostigma, which is a weight to keep it balanced at high speeds. This is a colored art with transparent wings. Note that there's a ton of veins on the wing, but the simple and simple-ish is there for a reason. Now Hymenoptera, which is bees, ants, and wasps. I drew a honeybee. The wings are much smaller compared to the other insects we've drawn so far, and even more so because a lot of the hind wing is behind the forewing. This is the final art with shading. If you want to add more detail, remember that the thorax is fluffy and there are a lot more veins on the wings. And Coleoptera, which is beetles. The most important thing about their wings is that the forewing is hardened to become something called elytra. I drew a ladybug here, so notice that there is only one pair of wings other than the elytra. Next, Hemiptera, which is true bugs. The thing about these guys is that their hind wings are about half as long as their forewings, which is especially noticeable when they're folded. I drew a cicada here, and something about the veins of their wings were really interesting to me, so I drew them. They kind of round out before the wing ends, in a way that looks like it's made of plastic wrapped around a wireframe. If you don't want to bother drawing the veins, I drew one side without them. These ones are some of my favorites, they look like fairy wings. Now Orthoptera, which is grasshoppers and crickets. Their forewings are leathery, so they won't be see-through like many of our other wings. Sometimes their hind wings are also opaque or partly opaque. Grasshopper wings are surprisingly colorful, so mine are kind of boring, but you can have fun with whatever colors you want. Finally, Diptera, which is flies and mosquitoes. Their hind wings have been reduced to halteres, which help them fly more precisely, in exchange for looking like chicken drumsticks. Their wings have sort of a weird triangular sort of shape to them, I guess to cover for the pair that isn't there. That's about it. I didn't cover every order of insects, or even every winged order, but I hope this was helpful or interesting. Bugs are really super cool, and I hope I've helped you see that a little more with this video. Thanks for watching!